Welcome to my new tutorial. Uh, today I will show you how to create a stacking mechanic uh, in Unity. Let's first create the cube. This cube will be collected by the player and stacked. So let's put it on a new layer. Let's call it cubes. Let's also put a new tag. Let's call it as well cube. <coughs> Okay, let's assign it. So what we need is we want to create a new material for it. So the material for the cube, let's make it yellow or whatever color you like. I will take this one. Now let's assign the color, uh, material to the renderer. Okay. Let's put it on zero, but as you can see, it's not really at zero. So what I like to do is to parent the cube to an empty uh, game object and put this game object on zero, zero everything out and uh, put the cube as a child object and move it a little bit up so that it's exactly on the zero point. So we move it up just for half, yeah. Now, if we move the parent or set the parent to zero, it's always at the exact point we want to have it. <coughs> so let's create a prefab of it. Yeah. Okay, let's now duplicate the prefab of the cube and move it around in the scene so that we can go around and collect a few of them to create a stacking mechanic. Okay, now let's go on to the script. This script will be mainly responsible to check if he's triggering or colliding with a cube, take it, put it as child object of our character and move the character one unit up and put it on top of the cube. So, and each time you collect a new cube, do the, the same from the beginning. So, first we need reference to our parent transform. So, this will be, in fact, our model where we will place the cubes we collect. So now we will use the trigger event to check if we are uh, triggering with the uh, triggering the collider of a cube. So if we are entering the uh, trigger of the cube, if yes, take this cube and then put it as child object. I will now continue with the script and show it to you how to do it. Okay, this, this will not work, but I will show you afterwards uh, how to fix it. So, before we can test the script, we need to go to our cube and add a trigger to it. Because right now we have only one collider, one box collider, and we need to have a trigger as well. So, to be able to uh, trigger our on trigger event. So, let's create additional box collider increase the size a little bit so that it's it's bigger than the collider and mark it as is trigger 
yeah apply this to the prefab so all other uh, cubes will have it immediately uh, let's go to the character add the script to it go to our model this is our parent for the cubes let's assign it to the script okay now when we test this out this will not work we have not marked our uh, collider as trigger or a new one so we are not able to collect okay let's go back So let's go back, uh, let's put our uh, character on the player layer, let's create a new one, call it player and assign, okay this one is empty, let's use this one and assign it to the player character, click yes to have all the child object as well on the player layer. Our cube layer has the cube layer. Okay, now let's stick it as is trigger because I forgot it previously. Apply the changes. Let's see what's going on now. Okay, now we are able to collect the cubes, but as you can see, it's wrong. Still not working how expected okay let's let's fix this okay let's move everything uh, up in the parent above the model and leave only the, the rig and the model itself in the model par parent. Okay, basically what we want to do is move our player one unit up and the cube we collect should be on the position the player was previously so it, it will not be a zero it will be minus one so and each time we need to increase the value okay mm -hmm. let's try to Correct the script, move the cubes around, spread it around so that we collect, can collect them. So here what we need to do is we are increasing the y-axis for the player model to move up and we just need to invert it to be minus and assign it to the new cube.
Okay, let's see if this will work. Okay, let's see if we are able to collect the cubes now. No, we are not. Okay. Maybe, maybe the, the collider is too small. Let's, let's see. Mm. Okay, strange. Maybe we we'll need to check the uh, the matrix of the collision. No, everything is active, so this should be fine. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> okay, let's let the cubes only collide with the player and collide with with itself. Let's see if. Anything else on the player, maybe the rigid body, mm. or maybe something. Mm. Now we have the trigger, we have a layer, we have, let's see the, hmm. Okay, let's maybe activate the uh, his kinematic. Hmm. Let's try. Okay, now we can collide, but still something. Okay, it's it's weird. Looks like we are colliding. In multiple times or too much or mm -hmm. ah. I have an idea let's try to move the cubes when we collide them or when we collect them let's move them to the other layer and this layer should not be should not collide with the player itself maybe this will help let's try it Okay, let's let's check the script once more before we start. What do we have here? Ah, I can see. We are colliding here with the cube, but we need to take the parent and set the position on the parent, not on the cube itself. Okay, let let's save it uh, in an own variable. And let's work with the cube parent. Okay, let's create a new layer where the cubes cannot collide with uh, with the player. And we, each time we collect a new cube, we will put it on this new layer so it's not col colliding with the player itself. Okay, now here 
Uh, let's move the parent of the cube and the cube itself to the new layer after we have collected it. Okay, let's test it out now. So we are running around and trying to collect the cubes. Okay, I think the collider is still not big enough on the cube, as you can see, we cannot. Okay, it's difficult to collect the cubes. So okay, let's let's increase the trigger collider on the on the cubes and make it bigger. Okay, this this looks much better. Let's apply it so that all cubes are affected. And now let's go back and test it out again. Okay, now, yes, works much, much better right now. Okay, thank you guys for watching the tutorial. Subscribe.